Great, hey guys, here we are, hole five. So here's what we're going to do. You can see I put a lot of that left spin. We're not going to use, we're going to try to almost play a, a ring adjustment here. You know, there's there's only so much I can really top spin. So I'm going to actually come off this just a touch because I have so much of a tailwind here. So we're going to just try to land kind of very close to where this is. I expect this to almost stretch out a little bit. So I'm going to go just a little bit more than two rings and maybe some curl. Just to really, because this fairway really slopes left to right. So what this does is it tries to keep it up kind of as high as possible. And then when you stay, oh, it looks like I clipped that rough. You don't want to clip that rough. So you want to actually almost have a perfect shot where it doesn't clip that. But also at the same time, you know, there's so much top. There's You can see how close my opponent got, for example. And that's kind of one of the things that you want to avoid is you don't want to... Um, you know, hit it through there too much so that it's going to roll out too much. And that's why I was trying to back off the top spin, almost try to play the ring adjustment. Uh, and it looks like I was maybe just, just a little bit too heavy there. I was hoping with the curl that it would kind of add some momentum, but it really didn't happen there. And as I mentioned, you know, you do want to typically avoid what I just did. And the biggest reason as to why is you kind of put yourself a little bit more in between clubs. But that's the reason that I did bring the Titan. Because I wanted to make sure in the event that I did do something like this, maybe I'll still be okay. And I can still pull this off because I brought a Titan and that's the only reason. But let's just see. Nope. Looks like I still can't. Oh, man. So big mistake here. Um, instead, of, instead of hitting this shot, let's just say hypothetically I did need to hit this shot. I would just do something like this and maybe short hit this with some curl. So you'll see that I'll do, I'd do something like this. And you can see with where my alignment is, it's because I know it's going to come in too hot. And I need to make sure that I hit in this open part and kind of land shorter here, closer to the base of this blue ring here, and then with some curl. Now, what I'm going to do, um, you know, you'll just want to try to perfect that uh, tee shot just a little bit better. All I'm going to do is just pitch my ball up here because this is where I would have been. You know, I'd be somewhere up here, somewhere around them in the edge. Um, but even if you rolled through into that rough, you'd technically be okay. But the reason that I'm pitching it up is because if you guys can avoid that mistake and you can get something where you're comfortable um, time and time again off the fairway, at least we can still talk about the actual shot that you'll have if you don't clip that rough. But you can see in the event that you do, you'll need to just do more of a bailout shot. But let's just say we play this to perfection like we're supposed to, which means we get up here. And you'll see we have plenty of range, club range here, um, to get in here and do pretty much anything that we want. So typically what I'll do is I'll try to straighten up my ball guide. So that's what you'll see that I'm doing right now is I'm essentially just using the perfect amount of side spin that basically like straightens it out. So you can see that the alignment is very straight now. So we'll keep it right around here. There should be a touch of rollout. Mid club, I'm thinking 1.7 on this club. 1.7, almost three rings here. Very close to three rings. Perfect ball. <clears throat> and just as I mentioned, you know, it's very, very makeable. And if you straighten up that ball guide, as you can see, I was able to put it in. Um, just imagine, you know, if we got our tee shot to there, how easy that adjustment is. And that's one of the main reasons to kind of hit that tee shot to that spot is because it's so straightforward, especially with that straight tailwind. So good luck with that. Hopefully you guys can also get that to fall and you can, um, you know, try to make the slight revisions on that tee shot. And, uh, you know, hopefully that goes well. Good luck and I'll see you guys on the next one.